Good morning, and welcome to Fenton High School Virtual Town Hall Meeting for April 18th, 2020. Just a brief uh, participation guidelines here. Uh, everyone that's uh, joining us today will be muted and we will not be able to see each other, but you will be able to see the two uh, presenters, our superintendent, James Zontanko, and our principal associate superintendent, Jovan Lazarevich. Uh, towards the end of this presentation, we will have an opportunity for question and answer, and that will be handled uh, through the uh, Q&A button at the bottom of your screen as if you're joining us on the uh, Zoom meeting. So without further ado, I'd like to introduce James Ontego, Superintendent of Fenton High School District. Good morning. It looks like Mr. Ontango is having some uh, technical difficulties right now. Um, so we're going to start with the mission and our beliefs as we go forward. And uh, hopefully Mr. Ontango will be able to jump in here. Um, so the Fenton mission is to cultivate successful, passionate learners through rigor, relevance and relationships. Hello. Yes. Can, can you hear me, Jim? All right, you're on Fenton Beliefs, Mr. Ontango. I just did the, the mission statement. Thank you. I guess uh, my headset wasn't working, so we'll start again. Thank you for the belief statement. Did you complete it, Mr. Lazarevich? Yes, I did the, um, I have not done the beliefs. I just did the mission statement, Mr. Ontango. Would you like to finish up with the beliefs, please? Absolutely. Fenton Beliefs, successful, passionate learners thrive when? We champion innovative teaching and engaged learning. School and home collaborate effectively. We provide a safe, secure, and caring environment. We infuse social emotional learning into academics and culture. Diversity empowers our learning community. We prepare students to fulfill their civic responsibility. Thank you, Mr. Lazarevich. We appreciate that. And I apologize for, for the technical difficulties. Um, if you guys could hear me now, uh, Mr. Lazarevich, if you could just say okay, so you're okay. You're okay, perfect. All right, good morning again, and thank you for joining us on this beautiful Saturday morning. We really do appreciate it. I am joined here, as you guys know, with Principal Lazarevich and our Director of Technology, Dr. Badson. Before we get started, I wanted to thank all of our essential workers, our grocery staff, our nurses, doctors, police, fire, pharmacists, and civic leaders. Specifically, I wanted to thank the Fenton Essential Workers who distribute food uh, to our students and families, Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. to noon. Your courage and dedication to service is second to none. Students, parents, and community, thank you for your support, empathy, and flexibility. Thank you for doing your part by staying at home, practicing social distancing, wearing a mask, and staying engaged and connected. We are saving lives and we are flattening the curve. These are difficult times for our families, school districts, towns, cities, and nations, but I know we will get through this. We will get through this through empathy, unity, and flexibility. As you have heard, uh, as you heard or read yesterday, Governor Pritzker announced that remote learning days will continue through the end of the school year in order to help save lives, flatten the curve, and stop the spread of COVID-19. I support this decision. It puts safety and the health of our students as the top priority. How will governor, uh, gov the governor's announcement impact Fenton High School? What are the actions plans for Fenton? Fenton High School priority remains consistent. Number one, feed and care for the safety and health and welfare of our students and family. Number two, provide the continued education. And number three, communicate clearly in a timely manner. Number one, 
feed and care for the safety, healthy, and welfare of our students and families. We will continue to feed our students until the end of the school year. A few students and families have contacted us and reported that they need other supplies like so soap and other toiletries. We are doing our best to find needed supplies and apply for grants that will assist us to serve our community. We are also supporting our students and families with technology support for Chromebooks, Wi-Fi, batteries, and chargers. In addition, our teachers and students service team are providing social emotional support to our students and families. I want to thank all of our staff for doing their best and providing the best learning experiences under these circumstances. Thank you for keeping our students engaged with via, via Zoom, Google Meets, uh, podcasts and screencasts, emails and other virtual means. Um, our teachers are awesome and we thank them for all of their hard work. I think it is also important to underscore that Fenton's technology learning plan is second to none. We have a committed, we have committed five years ago to provide our, all of our students a Chromebook and support these initiatives for professional development for our staff. We built and uh, an enhanced appropriate digital infrastructure. We bolstered Wi-Fi connection and more importantly, took steps to purchase Wi-Fi hotspots for times like this for students who do not have Wi-Fi at home. Fenton has one of the, uh, was one of the first school district in Illinois to embrace e-learning. In summary, in summary, we wanted to eliminate the digital divide and to provide the digital learning experience for all our students. Number two, priority number two states provide continuing education through remote learning. Fenton has a remote learning plan, which, we've, which you can review on our website. The plan consists of nine topics. Number one, attendance and participation. Number two, grading. Number three, assignments. Number four, uh, assessment. Number five, uh, teacher availability. Six, daily schedules. Seven, IEP and 504 communication. Eight, social emotional support and connectivity. And number nine, questions, concerns, and celebrations. The third priority is communication. Communication is key. And in times of, uh, of crisis, communication is even more important. I hope you find our email correspondence and Wednesday Word informative and helpful. We will continue to communicate with you in a timely manner. Our teachers are in, are in communication with their students on a weekly and daily basis. I encourage you to read all of our correspondence and participate in the surveys we administer. So far, we sent out two surveys, a student survey and a parent survey. The survey results are important in regards to improving our services and remote learning plan. Class of 2020, our seniors, we can only imagine how difficult this time is for you, your friends and your family. This is not the senior experience we want for you. I encourage you to stay positive. As a reminder, we are uh, waiving the community service hours that is a graduation requirement for the class of 2020. Prom, because of the stay at home and social distancing order, Fenton will not host a traditional prom in May. Principal Lazarevich will be meeting with class sponsors this week and discuss alternative plans. Please stay tuned. I just wanna stress that the Mr. Lazarevich and the class sponsors are meeting this week, so stay tuned. Graduation, graduation is important to students, to parents, to all of the adults involved. To the students and parents I have spoken to, I hear you. You want a traditional graduation. The administration talks about graduation on a daily basis, and we believe it is still too early to make a decision. It is evident that we will not hold a traditional graduation in May because of the stay at home and social distancing orders. We are discussing alternative plans and one of these plans is to postpone graduation in July or August um, and to have the graduation in our football stadium. So once again, those are plans, no promises made right now. So please be patient with us. We'll have more information in May. So the question is, when do we physically return to school? Um, you heard the announcement by the Governor Prisker uh, yesterday, if you read it, um, we will not have in-person uh, classes meetings um, uh, until 
the fall semester. So uh, quite frankly, uh, we are also starting to think of summer school as a remote, uh, remote learning experience for our students. Um, and just as a, as a reminder, the end of the school year uh, for the fall, uh, for the spring semester ends May 21st. And our first day of school in the fall is August 12th, Wednesday, August 12th. Contact information, please contact us. We, we are definitely committed to, to answer all questions and to provide you the best service. Our the best email to, to get a hold of us, whether it's English, Spanish, or Polish, please email us at fentonhelp at fenton100.org. If you want to get a hold of me or email me personally, it's on tanko at fenton100.org or our, our marvelous uh, principal, Mr. Lazarevich, uh, at lazarevich at fenton.org. We will now open it uh, to questions and answer, Doc, Dr. Batson. So far, there are no questions. If anyone has a question, you can feel free to click the Q&A button at the bottom of your screen and submit those questions in writing. Thank you. Mr. Lazarevich, would you like to add any thoughts or comments? Uh, no, I'd just like to reassure our community that the teachers are um, always there for their students. Uh, focus for us is our social emotional learning as we continue to go forward. Uh, we know that these are trying times within our community and we wanna make sure that all of our students are accounted for as well as taken care of. Um, so we're always available. Please contact a teacher um, depending upon your relationship. And as Mr. Tango said, uh, he and I are always available for any, um, any questions. Okay. Mr. Batson, anything um, in regards to technology? Well, we yes, have we have one individual, um, not necessarily a question, question but a comment if this situation continues into the fall semester will there be steps taken to ramp e-learning up to more of a full day curriculum um we're going to take the um we're going to take illinois state board of education's guidelines and we're going to try and work with them to make sure if this is something that that goes in as you know we prepare unfortunately for some of these um situations as awful as it may be uh, we are looking at different ways to engage students if this does continue into the fall, but we will be looking at um, the Illinois State Board of Education's guidelines as we uh, look at our fall curriculum, uh, if it is remotely, uh, but our hope is and our, our, our true desire is to have the students back in person on August 12th. Uh, from another uh, person uh, watching in, a comment, I'd like to thank Fenton staff, teachers, administration for the communication and dedication to our students. Thank you. Another question here is, uh, sorry, sorry, Dr. Batson. Uh, what will the beginning of the school year look like in this e-learning environment? Um, at, at this point, a lot of it is to start with is logistics. Uh, we have to get uh, Chromebooks back from our seniors and we have to then give our Chromebooks to our freshmen as they come in so that they have um, a device to work in this remote learning environment. So a lot of it is right now logistics. Um, the environment itself will continue within Google for many. Uh, and we will, we already have a task force that's working on our remote learning plan that you guys see on our um, website under the coronavirus COVID-19. So we will continue to use that remote learning plan and tweak and make sure that um, all students are accounted for again, make sure that we're focusing on our social emotional um, but right now, we're just working on the logistics of what that might look like in the fall, again, with the hope that um, there is more testing that occurs, uh, look for antibodies, as well as a vaccine that uh, we can actually bring everybody back together on August 12th. And for our general audience, too, it's, it's important to point out that administration and staff uh, meet, meet on a regular basis. Uh, uh, in particular, the Fenton administration meets every day uh, from 9 o'clock to 10 a.m., uh, 9, 9 a.m. to 10, uh, 10 a.m. Um, to discuss all of the issues 
uh, involving the COVID-19, whether it's education, social, emotional, uh, information coming from DuPage, information coming from the states and, and the federal government as well. As this information comes in and as we process it, we will communicate that to our, to our community. Um, so please continue to, to read those emails. Another question uh, comes in, will there be traditional band camps and other pre-fall uh, school virtual activities of any sort? I'll take this one. Um, as, as, you, as folks know, um, uh, we are under the order by the governor uh, to stay at home. Um, at this current moment um, with Mr. Lazarevich and the rest of the administrators, um, we're thinking of uh, and planning for a remote learning for summer school, and that would include as well as uh, uh, camps, uh, athletic, as well as activities, uh, camp um, like band, um, but more information uh, to come in regards to that, but that's where we're at right now. And we are looking at pre, uh, preschool virtual activities, for instance, for our ninth graders, that'll be the first time in the building. We are looking at ways for, to introduce them into the building if we have um, if we can't meet up this summer, uh, if we do get a, um, an all clear order, if you will, from the governor, we are looking at ways to do maybe a boot camp or something of that nature where we can bring um, different freshman groups, especially in to see our building and to see classrooms and things like that. So, uh, and then we are planning an actual virtual activity for our ninth graders, as well, <clears throat> as well as those others that are returning next year of what the new remote learning will look like. So we're very, being very, very creative here and um, doing what's best practice in regards to digi digital communication. There's a question that asks about uh, a concern for the amount of work being given. Um, again, under the previous order, the act of God took us from March 17th until April 30th. Uh, we were on spring break then through um, the rest of that week. And then we started back up. Uh, the following Monday, the 6th. Um, and because we did not have a remote learning plan because our teachers were on spring break, that week we took to make sure that we created a remote learning plan. We got a task force together and we worked on what our remote learning plan. And then the 13th uh, started our remote learning plan. We moved away from Act of God. Um, our mindset and our stake in the ground is that our students are not to be harmed in this. This was a statement from the governor as well as the Illinois State Board of Education. So um, teachers are trying to give as much work as students can handle at this point. Uh, some students are maybe working through it in a quicker pace. Others are, um, are behind because they know they have other obligations. Part of our student survey that we ask is, um, do they have other obligations during the day? And we've seen that a lot of our students do have other obligations during the day. So we're trying to make sure that we manage that. We also know that not all of our students are um, are connected with Wi-Fi or the internet. So we're trying to manage all those um, in this trying time. So uh, we are definitely um, looking at different ways. Our professional learning communities are still meeting uh, to make sure that they have the essential, um, uh, essential learning skills and tasks for the students. So that'll continue to go. Uh, they're doing that every Friday. We just recently did that on a Monday all day. They met uh, in different, using Zoom and Google Meets for different ways to make sure that they are talking with each other to ramp up the curriculum um, in this time. Another one is, is Fenton providing any mental, emotional health for students? Um, yes, we are. Our social workers, psychologists, counselors, um, they're all reaching out. Our teachers are trying to do the best they can with SEL. Um, administration has reached out to several students. Uh, we, even in this time of stay at home, we have uh, deployed our um, school resource officer along with another administrator to check on students and families to make sure that we are, um, that they're at least at this point accounted for and working what we can. Uh, our email system is still up, as you know, so students can reach out through that. Uh, we have tried different ways. A lot of our counselors and social workers have actually created Google um, Google phone numbers. So they're, they're calling uh, families on a pretty regular basis. So we're doing the best we can under these trying circumstances to make sure that we are reaching out to our students uh, and providing them um, social and emotional and some mental uh, health as well. Um, that is the number one priority right now for all of our students. Absolutely. There's a comment here. Uh, Fenton has done a remarkable food program job in these past weeks. 
thank you very much. I think that's much appreciated. Uh, there's another question. Have you looked at having board meetings shown on Zoom or YouTube live as they take place? And if you guys don't mind, I'll take this question myself. Um, if you look at the, um, if you search on YouTube, uh, Fenton High School District 100, uh, we have a channel there and uh, our board meetings in the past have been put on the uh, Fenton YouTube channel, but starting in March with our, our just recent uh, board meeting in March, we are uh, streaming those live on YouTube. And we usually put that link on the webpage uh, just prior to the meeting. So the meeting night, uh, uh, that Wednesday night, when we have our board meetings, there will be a link on our webpage that will take you directly to the live stream uh, in YouTube uh, for that board meeting. Just wanted to add, <clears throat> sorry, just wanted to add also as well, there was a question in regards to uh, Spanish uh, social emotional uh, resources for parents. We are working on that. I know Mr. Castro, and I have spoken in regards to providing videos in Spanish in regards to social emotional um, under this trying times of crisis. So that will be coming out in Spanish. So stay tuned for that one. Uh, another question here is how are special accommodations for students handled via e-learning? Um, all of the case managers are reaching out. Um, Ms. Coleman is available for any contacts, um, but the case managers are reaching out Google Classrooms are set up if they are in a team talk class where both teachers are still involved. Um, currently, we are not planning for any final exams uh, and all other uh, assessments are to be done based on more of a project based idea for some students. Um, I know that that's not always convenient or um, applicable to our AP classes, but for right now for our students that have special accommodations, we are our uh, speech pathologist is uh, still reaching out to students to make sure that those are uh, those minutes are taken care of. Um, we're doing our best faith effort to make sure that those students are um, are receiving their accommodations. And back to the question in regards to food distribution, just a friendly reminder our, to our, our parents and our, our, our community when they pick up food, if you could uh, please make sure you to wear a mask. Um, whether you're walking or driving up to uh, the pickup line, and if you could pop your trunk so it's it's safer for us, uh, for everybody, and we'll get we'll ex uh, it will expedite uh, the pickup of, of food. Another question is um, how has communication between the teachers and students, and have students always uh, been able to contact their teachers? Um, again, our email system has been up, uh, so students are able to continuously contact students. They can do it through the Google Classroom by turning in their assignments. Um, there's ways in terms of Google to check. Um, their um, the, the work that's been given to them to be able to interact with their teachers. Uh, many of our teachers have held Zoom uh, sessions. Uh, they're using other apps as well. I believe uh, Trickster is another app that they're using, a, a device where they actually present to the, to the students and the students have a back channel to ask questions as, um, as the lesson is going on. Um, so uh, we've done everything we can to make sure that we free up um, teachers between certain hours with the understanding too that our teachers have um, families at home that they're trying to manage some of this as well. So um, yeah, teachers are in contact with students on a pretty regular basis. We have a system in place right now where every Friday students that have not been in, uh, that have not participated, we are creating a list and we're going to start to reach out to those families as well to make sure that um, those students are engaged in the learning going forward. There's a question here about SAT and graduation requirement for seniors. Um, we know there are some seniors who have not taken the SAT. Uh, we have uh, submitted a waiver uh, to the Illinois State Board of Education to have that waive and to make sure our seniors graduate on time without taking the SAT. Question is uh, who at Fenton can be contacted if someone would like to donate food, toiletries, or perhaps volunteer? Um, currently, um, thank you for that. Uh, currently, uh, volunteer-wise, we're, we're not taking any volunteers because we're trying to keep as uh, a skeleton of sca staff as we can in the building. Um, uh, but in terms of donations to the food, uh, to food or toiletries, things like that, um, you can send it to uh, what's on the screen right now at Fenton Help, um, and we will um, we'll coordinate and get back to you, um, you know, with contact information, we'll get back to you on, on uh, how we can how that could be dropped off and how we can utilize that. But thank you very much for, for that offer. 
Um, that, that's very kind of you. We have a few more minutes here. If anyone has any last minute uh, questions you would like to uh, submit, please do so. Well, we have this free minute here, uh, Mr. Lazarevich and Mr. Batson. Just wanted to reiterate to our parents and our, our, our viewers here to com continue to complete the surveys. I know the parent survey is on until Monday afternoon. So we, we need your feedback. That's a great question in regards to, to special ed accommodation. Question is too much work, too little work and what's gonna happen in the, uh, in, in the summer and fall. Um, we need that feedback from you. There's also a part of the parent survey where you could leave a, your telephone number or email and we will give you a call. We had about eight uh, last Friday. Uh, administration took the time to call each and every one of those individuals and we will uh, continue to do so. So students it looks like asked, that's all the questions for today. Just a comment for our students. Students, thank you. Thank you so much for doing your part. If, if you need anything in your locker, um, whether it's a book or uh, an, an article you need, please let us know. Uh, Fenton Help would be a, uh, the best way or to reach out to your teacher and let them know, hey, look, I do not have my biology book or so forth. How can I go ahead and uh, retrieve it? Uh, I'm sure we will find a way. With that, I'm getting the green light from uh, Dr. Batson that um, we are, it's time to, to say goodbye, but we want to thank all of our Fenton communities in Bensonville and Wooddale for participating, asking great questions, and we're planning to do this probably another, in, in two or three weeks, um, um, and, and I'm sure the technology will be a little bit better uh, in my part, uh, but no, thank you, thank you, um, stay safe, stay at home. Um, wash hands, uh, wear a mask, and uh, continue to get engaged. Uh, we miss you, um, and we're, we're constantly thinking of you. Mr. Lazarevich, any final thoughts? No, I think that sums it up, Mr. Rontango. Please tell your students to engage with their teachers as often as they can. That would be great. Okay. Take care. Go Bison. Go Bison. <laughs>